What up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today we're back out there in the shop. Got a couple interesting things going on. For one, we started wrapping this car last night around 7 p.m. We stayed till about midnight and we almost got it fully wrapped. So the car that I'm talking about, let me just show you. It's this one out here. Johnny, how fast can we get this thing done? Which one? This one. You guys got it done like in 30 minutes. Way too fast, it felt like 30 minutes. Mitch and I stayed here pretty late last night knocking it out, but if you see the hood's done, this whole side is done, it's already going back together. We do have one bumper wrap, so we do have the rear bumper to wrap still, and a quarter panel. Uh, another cool thing that we're gonna be doing is hanging out with Flossin today. What up, Flossin? Hi, brother. How are you? So Flossin Auto Detailing is here. He's gonna be doing Ceramic Pro on the all the carbon fiber parts. These carbon parts have been on the car for a while now, so they do have a little bit of damage on them. No big deal, they're gonna clean them up and get them looking better than hopefully new. So these are all the carbon trims that go on the car. And this is what they're gonna be applying. If you guys are interested in ceramic coating, please watch the video. I'm gonna have Flossen do his thing, show as much of the process as possible. If you guys wanna get this done to your vehicle, you can do it to wrap, you can do it to paint, you can do it to carbon fiber, you can do it to interior too, right? glass, everything. If you want that service done, please comment below. Let us know if you're local. We'll get you guys hooked up. Let's start with the basics. Like what? Why would somebody ceramic coat, carbon fiber, or even their car in general? It's a maintenance thing. It makes life a lot easier when you go to clean it. You're gonna have to do, you have a lot less agitation when, you come, when it comes to actually cleaning which means less scratches, less marring, and in the long term it means it saves you a lot of money. And then tell me about this, tell me about recommendations as far as the product, because I see they use Ceramic Pro, and we had a couple people come here and try to sell us the service, and they bring us like different brands. Uh, what's your thoughts on maybe the best product or what's comparable in the market? Um, well, Ceramic Pro is like a really good uh, customer service, really good warranty, really good backing. So if anything goes wrong, we can go straight to the manufacturer and they'll take care of us. Got They're it. A really got good it. company. That was the best plug they've ever got, so they better send us a couple boxes of this because we need it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. So here's the hard part of the bumper. We got all of the inlays done here. So you see this, there is a seam right, you can't see it, but there is a seam right here. So I did all these, this is all laid itself. Now we'll go ahead and cap this off. Uh, what we did here is all the aggressive spots that are on this bumper were done in their own individual pieces. So uh, there's no stretch here. So this will last throughout the lifetime of the wrap. And if it's done properly, which it will be, you won't see any of the seams. Damn, dude, it looks a million. These, these things look brand new and they're old. They're definitely old. Ooh, damn, it's so smooth. Butter. That's crazy. I wish the camera could feel what we're feeling. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's so soft. It looks so good. They just finished up the coating. We're gonna get the parts put back on the car. Some of the parts that you see over there was the rear diffuser. Also, there's a trunk lip, front, uh, front lip, and a couple other things, but I can't wait to see this project come together. We're probably, I don't know, three or four hours out from having it completely done. I do have to wrap that bumper, but the hard part is already done. I told you guys, the hard part was doing all of the inlays here. And it's not hard, it's just time consuming. So that's all done. Uh, same thing was done over here where the bumper took 30 minutes to wrap, but all of the inlays right in that area took some time, right over here took some time. Uh, so in total this morning, probably two hours on that bumper in total. So we'll finish this one up. We'll get the car put back together. Right now we're gonna step out, we're gonna go to lunch. We're gonna take Cannon to lunch because it's his birthday. So happy 19th birthday, Cannon. That's today? That's today, bro. Hey, happy birthday, Cannon. <laughs> happy birthday, Cannon.
back in the shop, gonna finish up that BMW. I wanna show you where we're at. Uh, some of the parts, some of the carbon fibers are already going back together. Johnny and I just finished wrapping the bumper. Didn't really get to show you guys that, but I'll show you what it looks like right now. Ooh. Yo, do we have like something that black is out actually? We do, so we have a pre-cut vinyl over there that goes right on there. It'll make your life easy. Oh, sick, I'm gonna go grab it, one. Dude. Thanks, we'll cut bro. it out. So here's the bumper, got done, wrapped. Looks super good. All of the inlays, can't tell that they're showing you guys earlier. If it's done right, you don't see any, any of the seams. And it just looks really clean. And Mitch is back over there putting the car back together. Where you at, Mitchie? What do you got left? A lot. A lot? Uh, just bumpers and stuff. He says a lot. I like to think positive. Doesn't seem like a lot. There's a bumper. There is a couple trims to go on and the car will be ready. Fascinated, dude. What? I'm legit fascinated by your techniques. I'm watching him wrap this trunk here, and just the little stuff that you're doing is pretty damn fascinating. 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 That <laughs> yeah, looks good, man. So the whole time, basically, what he did is he started here, and he brought the material down, and just been relaxing into this little groove here. Although it's not an aggressive bend, the best bet is to set the material in place rather than force it into place, and actually have this either overstretch this color or just thin the adhesive to where this eventually pops up so what Johnny's doing is just really relaxing the film all the way down and like I said he started here worked his way into this first bend and now he's gonna actually start from this body line and work another inch down this way just by relaxing it into place There we go. That's what it looks like on the computer, and this is what it looks like in real life. But we got this, it's gonna be the last little piece to add to the puzzle. First step, as always, make sure you clean the windows so no one sees through it, you know, creepers and whatnot. Now you're gonna take your pre-cut, and you peel it. It's the best part. All set, it's all trimmed up. I'm just gonna back over anything, make sure it's all down, and this should be set for the customer to get here, which is actually any minute now. So made a really good decision to have it ceramic coated yeah because it made the color look even better what's yeah. ceramic coated so ceramic coating what it is it's a coating that goes over film or paint you can do it on any vehicle uh, but what it does is it protects the film to where it allows nothing to stick to it no handprints no dirt no grime no dust no debris oh, nice. so basically this car will wash itself you, know, you just wipe it down and you're good to go just drive it super fast <laughs> <There you go. laughs> this thing looks sick Oh my god, it looks beautiful. The carbon pops out on it too. Oh, the carbon fiber right here. Yeah. Thank you for letting us do it, bro. No, thank, thank you for giving you. us the time to do it. Uh, and then also, it's just cool that you took all of the other precautions that were available. Yeah. The ceramic coat, you're gonna love it. Yeah. Have, you ever, have you had a car ceramic coated before? Uh -huh. So I think moving forward, you're gonna wanna do that just because the way you maintain these things is so much easier. Uh, now that it's coated, dirt doesn't stick to it. Fingerprints don't stick to it. If the vinyl alone will last a lot longer and uh, when it comes to washing it's just a basic wipe down.
You could say this is probably my favorite project in the last three weeks just because of everything that we've had over the last month or so has been very deadline sensitive. The owner of this vehicle, Jesse, super cool dude, understood when he dropped it off, I told him, I said, look, we're in SEMA Crunch, we'll take in the car, but I need you to understand it's gonna take some time. We had the car for a total of two weeks, so a little bit longer than we usually have them. It was, I think, worth the wait. Full vinyl wrap, uh, full ceramic coat. We also tinted the tail lights. We did a couple other little miscellaneous overlays here and there. The wheel cap, little things like that. Uh, but all in all, project came out really, really, really good. I'm happy. I think Jesse loves it. We'll put Jesse's Instagram below. So if you guys don't believe it yourself, you can go ask him yourself. So Jesse, thank you so much for being our customer. We appreciate you like we do all of our customers. That's all for this vlog, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys in the next one.